Well, recently, I've done a major upgrade on my cryptocurrency or crypto asset portfolio. And at this moment, I am almost all in on Hedra Hashgraph. This is something that I've planned to do in a very long time. And I think maybe now is the moment to do it. So let me take you through. By the way, if you are new here, welcome to Investors Vibe. Please subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that whenever we make a cryptocurrency update, you will receive the update and also if you're interested in Hedera Hashgraph then please you are on the channel that is really bullish on the cryptocurrency it all started back in somewhere 2019 when I started to follow Hedera Hashgraph there was no talking then and at the same time I was also following Falcon IPFS and Definity I have been learning a lot about them so when Hedera came I was still very active learning a lot about it but i never invested i think i started somewhere in january 2020 that was when i bought my first h bars because the price was so low i keep telling myself what if it never go low again and it just starts to go up so i started to buy but i didn't buy a lot so this gogo thing happened and gogo became a governing council it became a council member and the price went up all of a sudden, everyone was so excited about Hedera and likely for me, he came back down. So I didn't sell what I had at that time. And when it came down, I knew that was the time for me. So likely for me, I started buying again. And that's it. That's that's just the story. So I've always felt like it could go to like $1 the next day. And for that reason, I never sell and I just keep buying. The Hedera consensus service, in my opinion, is a game changer. And how enterprises are going to utilize public DLTs are going to change or they have actually changed because they've started using it already. And now we have the Hedera token service as well. So recently I've taken the time to look deeper into my portfolio. Diversification is something useful, but when you overdo it, I think it can be a very harmful thing. I first came up with the first 100 tokens. That's what I did. I went through all the tokens. I listed them down top 100 tokens. I did. It was a big job uh, it was like it took me several days but i did i listed the top 100 tokens in my opinion not top 100 on um coin market cap no i used i actually said best my best 100 coins and i listed them from one to 100 and i reduced that number to 50 i reduced it to 30 20 10 5 then I came up with three cryptocurrencies. I tried to eliminate the hype and all the things going on because I think when I when I invest, I invest for the long run. So when I'm doing it, I try to put in the actual use cases of the project and the team involved and the team that community that they are building around it. So the three cryptocurrencies I settled on were Hedera Hashgraph, GRT, the graph token, and Gen that's the token for DAO stack so to, in my opinion GRT the graph token is a massive coin and in the future is going to be a great one but the token release schedule is very bad unlike Hedera most of the coins will come into circulation in the next 18 to 24 months that is something that I don't really like about it from this moment to the next year and a half the supply will increase from about 1.2 billion just over 1.2 billion to almost 9 billion that's that's insane right but the project already has a lot of adoption and token economics is sound i still have some grt but i might sell and buy back after the 18 to 24 month period i don't know i'm still contemplating on this is i like the project a lot really after hashgraph is the next project that i'm i'm very very bullish on in the long run because this is not just about ethereum this is not just about um building something for DeFi. no this goes beyond that it's making it easy for developers to work with data on on chain and so is it's, it's something that i'm very very bullish on now let's talk about my next project and that is dao stack well decentralized autonomous organizations are going to be useful in building decentralized apps and decentralized communities i chose dao stack over others because in my opinion is very very undervalued is because many DAOs are already built on this platform the platform it names Alchemy, and now they've even announced that they are moving it to off-chain labs. DAO stack is something that I think it will be very, very useful in the future, and also the community 
building decentralized applications for DeFi and other sort of uh, Web3 applications are very, very bullish on DAO style because they are using it. Many, many popular DAOs are built on Alchemy. So, but no one is talking about it. Like literally no one. I made a video about it and it got <laughs> very, very few views. Even though my channel is small, which I know in comparison with other videos, yeah, that was it. I think people are not searching for it. And so many people are also not making videos about it. But I'm going to try to draw people's attention to it because I think it's a very useful thing. And what the team is, the team can also build to achieve what it's trying to build because the team is a competent one. By the way, if you want to learn a lot about DAO stack and DAOs in general, head over to DAO Talk. You will learn a lot there. It's, it's a very useful place. Now, over 90% of my portfolio is in Hedera Hashgraph. The only reason why it's not 100% is because I'm a content creator. And so I do a lot of research on a daily basis. I go into different projects and that means I get to know about a lot of rumors before they become news. And also I'm kind of impatient person. So this helps me to keep huddling my age bar while I still have something for the rumors that will come for the other projects. In conclusion, I think you don't need to hold 10 different projects if you have a few thousands to invest. The space is growing fast. Going broad but shallow is not good for cryptos. It's not. But going deep but narrow, you will learn about the competition and their competition. And this way, you will end up going deep and wide. That's what I always say. I always say right now at this very moment, I'm very, very deep and wide in the Hedera ecosystem. And yes, I think this is the most undervalued crypto asset. There's no doubt about it. I've made a lot of comparisons. Like I said, I started from 100 best cryptocurrencies. I listed them one to 100 and I held them against each other and I reduced the number to 50. I came down to 30, to 20, to 10, to five, to three. And I'm telling you, Hedera Hashgraph is massively undervalued. Like. There's nothing like it in the crypto space. Zero, nada, nil. So guys, well, that's it. And also I based my valuation on the fully diluted market cap, not on the circulating, no, everything. Even if everything is in circulation right now, Hedera Hashgraph is still the most undervalued crypto asset. So at a fully diluted market cap, that would be like um, 2.5 billion if you multiply the 50 billion by the five cents that is trading for at this moment. And only 34% of the 50 billion maximum supply will be in circulation by 2025, which is like 17 billion. So at even $5, the market cap is still going to be under $100 billion. And with all the projects that are being built on Hedera, the token fees that will be collected and everything, well, I don't want to like... <laughs> go so bullish that maybe you might even sell your organs for it but guys yeah we are early on to something big and this is going to change a lot for both for some of us in the future so guys i wanted to bring your attention to header hashgraph once again and i wanted you to understand how massively i'm invested in hashgraph personally again please subscribe and hit on the notification bell if you're interested in header hashgraph I'm going to give you all the updates you want. I've already done a lot of videos about it. You can check out on the channel. Thank you.